Mount Pleasant is turning to its sewage system to increase COVID-19 testing and data tracking. News 2 Sophia Desasur toured the Mount Pleasant Waterworks Wastewater Facility to learn more about the presence of COVID-19 in waste. Mount Pleasant announced they were participating in a study earlier this year, but I wanted to learn more about why the data is so valuable and how exactly it's collected. Sick people in our community going to the restroom, uh, that is the direct source of COVID in our wastewater. The virus's presence being tracked as part of a larger study led by the University of South Carolina. Mount Pleasant Waterworks is one of 11 facilities involved in the biweekly testing. Twice a week, we're sending one liter samples up to USC to be analyzed. Operations manager Alan Klum says the goal is to gather data that will feed into a Center for Disease Control computer model that will estimate how many people in the community actually have the virus. And the medical data we have. Have, you may be missing the asymptomatic portion of our community. And so with the raw sewage, we can test that. The data model will then hopefully be used to predict future waves of the virus, which have already been noted in Mount Pleasant. Near the end of June and the end of July, we had very large increases uh, in COVID. Uh, we, we relate that directly to the holiday weekends, uh, July the 4th, as well as Memorial Day. The study, Clum assures, poses no threat to the safety of others. The town's wastewater and drinking water facilities are completely separate. As for the process wastewater... The treatment plan is very effective at killing and destroying the virus. So we have tested water that we discharge. That water has no COVID in it. So the treatment plan is very effective at removing it and preventing COVID from getting into the environment. USC environmental health professor Sean Norman is behind the study. He says the practice has been used in recent years for several other viruses like polio. He says the hope is the model could one day signal the approach of another wave, allowing decision makers to ramp up social distancing requirements before it worsens. Reporting in studio, Sophia Desasor, Count on Two.